Okay, welcome everyone to my one of my Blender tutorials here, and <clears throat> what I'm going to do here today is uh, show you how to do, I guess I call it recursive checker texture, and it's uh, using material nodes. So, and also I want to uh, try out my new pre-roll that I've made for the rest of my video tutorials. So we're going to delete the uh, default cube, right, like so, we're going to add a plane. Uh, well, what we'll do, before we add the plane, we'll just, uh, <coughs> we'll get everything down to default. By pressing Alt or, I don't think the light has a default. Anyway, so uh, I'm going to get the, in the ortho here, drag this to the Y axis, in the top view. And uh, go to our front view, and drag it down to the X. And rotate it about the Y, 90 degrees. And our triangle is not facing up, so we can fix that by <coughs> rotating X, 90 degrees. Now that's up on the camera there. So we can, uh, here's a more maneuvering here. Rotate Z, 90. That's the wrong 90. I'll hold down control it this way. And we can check over here by the, uh, yep, we got 90 degrees. So we're looking straight at the origin here, and we're going to put a plane at the origin. And we're going to scale this plane up a little bit. Hold down S. And we're going to rotate X 90 degrees, like so. And then uh, now we're looking straight at the plane, and we'll get the light here set up a little better. We'll drag it over here behind the camera, and we're going to get into cycle render, like so. And change this light to a area light. Enter, size it up a little bit, like so. And then uh, we'll do the uh, Alt R, and we'll rotate this X by 90 degrees. And now. We'll give that about uh, 1,200 for the illumination. And so, we'll get that light drop down right behind our target plane. Now, we'll put a, we're going to go over to our nodes here real, real quickly. Real quick like. And uh, select the plane. Pull open another window. Open the node, material nodes editor, say new. Yeah, so it gives us a diffuse uh, BSDF, whatever that stands for. So we're going to, uh, first off, uh, it, I've noticed a little lag over here. So what we'll do, we'll go over here in the, uh, out, the outliner view over here. And we'll add this checker texture. And so it hooks it right there <coughs> and uh, gives us the default gray and white. So we'll render this real quick, and we got our gray and white. So what I wanted to show you here is you can uh, duplicate this checker texture, and then uh, set it as another color. And I've been doing multiples of five here. So we now got the uh, another checker texture within the white texture, and uh, <coughs> you can uh, go on and on with this. You can uh, duplicate this again, pull it out, add it to this, and then uh, I'm going to bring this in real close. We'll go, see, five outside, we'll go five to the third power, one, two, five, one, two, five, and now we got an even smaller checker texture within the checker texture, or the white checker texture. So, anyway, that's what.